So here's the thing about language and context. I went to Italy and took Italian language classes for a while. Uh, a while being like three months. And while I was in Italy, hanging out with an Italian friend, uh, we went to see a movie. The movie, by the way, was Signs. Uh, Mel Gibson, I think. Um, American movie, originally in English, but as they usually do in Italy, uh, they dubbed right over it. And guys, the dub was quality dub. They match up like uh, lip motions and sounds really well, so it's not as jarring as the old-fashioned dub. The point is, I understood very little. I'd been studying Italian and speaking a little bit of Italian, but uh, then there was a scene, which you may recall if you have seen Sans, where the main guy walks into the room and starts lift listing food options. I don't remember what the other food options were, but thing one, I understood what it was. I was like, all right. I know what he's talking about. It's a food item, and I know which food item it is. Thing two, I knew what that was too. Thing three, I knew what that was. And then he said a word that I did not understand. I asked my friend who's sitting next to me, hey, what was that last thing? I understood everything but that one thing. And he looked at me like I was crazy and said, but it's English. So the one thing I hadn't understand, understood is the one thing that hadn't actually been translated. Here's the, here's the, the trick, the explanation, the catch, the, the reason. Uh, this is a word that has been imported into Italian from the English language. It has retained its spelling, but not its pronunciation. So the word was hamburger. It means hamburger, hamburger, which, uh, you know, if we were standing near a hamburger shop and somebody said, un hamburger, hamburger, un hamburger, maybe I would have been able to put two and two together and figure out what they meant. But listed off in rapid succession, translating in my brain Italian words into English, when I came to one that I didn't recognize, uh, I couldn't translate it, it didn't occur to me to stop and think, if they wrote that down, would it look like a word I already know in my own language? Didn't occur to me. And I think uh, it wouldn't occur to a lot of people. Uh, and I mean, I'm sure there are, I'm sure there are some people that uh, would get it right away, but I think the vast majority of us need a little context in order to recognize a word that sounds that different. And uh, it's still kind of funny though. The one word I didn't get is the one that's basically English. <laughs> it's like when you know someone at work and you both wear the same work uniform and you always see them at work and then one day you run into them down at the farmer's market wearing a completely different kind of outfit and they've put their hair down because they're not at work and they say hi how are you and you say hi you look really familiar but who the hell are you I don't recognize you who are you what's your name and where do we, where where have we met it's the same thing uh, context context matters that's a whole mess of thoughts there for you. Hope you enjoyed it, or found it intriguing, or both. Yeah, one, some combination. Uh, you don't, uh, <laughs>